Good afternoon, everybody. I'm at work on my lunch hour, and hopefully the uh, phone won't ring. <laughs> but I'm in Zechariah 4.10. Who dares despise the day of small things? Since, since the seven eyes of the Lord that range throughout the earth will rejoice when they see the chosen capstone. I had to look up capstone. It means like the final event, the final solution. So, um, I've had people tell me for a long time, you know, snap up my videos, get more current, you know, you're just boring. <laughs> and so, um, you know, not to be mean or anything, they're just trying to give me constructive criticism and I get it. And so, but I think about, you know, I started out in my home with maybe 10 girls and, um, then went to Panera Bread, maybe 10, 15, and then, uh, uh, COVID hit, so I, I went online. And since I've been online, I mean, we've had, um, I went online as Breaking Bread, and I have 180 subscriptions, subscribers. I've had 487 videos. Three months ago, I did a video called Ticket to Heaven and went to 4,000. But generally, uh, a lot of my videos are 400, 300, 200. And then some of them, a lot of them, you know, maybe by being the 50s or 60s. But to me, that's big, you know, that's big. And so, but you look at all these other videos and they're like in the thousands and stuff, you know, and they're making money and all this stuff. And my kids might tell me, you know, great, you should do this. You know, you should make some money and blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm like, okay, well, you know. So then um, I went to my little journal that I go to. And this is in scripture, but I like to, I like stuff like this. This is from a quote, supposedly from Harrison Ford. All I would tell people is to hold on to what was their individual selves, not to allow their ambition for success to cause them to try to imitate the success of others. You got to find it on your own terms. And that's from Harrison Ford. And it's true. You know, you can, I think you will spin in your wheels if you're trying to, you see the success of others and you say, I can do this. Well, that's good. You should say, I can do this, you know, and, and, encourage yourself and even David encouraged himself in the Lord you know and to and I say go for it and try to do the best you can you know but don't despise the, the small beginnings to realize that the hand of the Lord is on is on you and he knows um, where you're going and he knows how you're going to get there and you've got to rely on him ultimately and because I didn't I didn't cause COVID you know and I didn't even know how to do YouTube it just sort of started coming to me and um and then I got a friend Patty that you know she's always encouraging me and she gets a good word from the Lord from time to time and she told me one time you're going to have a big table big 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 huge table in heaven <laughs> big ministry you know but she never said I was going to have this huge ministry on earth she never said that not that I rely on one person you know but I'm just saying so um my kids say talk about recent events well I don't want to get into politics too much, as we know what happened in the Trump campaign, you know. And I thought about it, and like they say, maybe it was conspiracy, you know, incompetence of the Secret Service. And But I'm going to tell you, all these things are coming out that all this, everybody, all these people supposedly tried to kill Trump. But God, God showed up, right? That's all I can say about that. I'm not going to go into that. And then we got the Paris thing that just came up. Okay, well... The Lord, uh, the world has seen the Lord's Supper probably more than they've seen it in their lifetime. <laughs> and, and the, and the Christians stood up and the people stood up, even the people on, you know, that did the, the other last supper, you know, the gay community, they even stood up and apologized because they, nobody meant to really be, you know, hurt at one another. And, but it's just nice to know, um, where you stand, like what, that the fact that the Christians did stand up for theirs and everybody stood up. And so I say, you know, what is the Holy Spirit telling you to do? And you've got to stick to that. You've got to get into the Bible. You've got to get into pray. If he says to pray, then pray. If he says to take a stand, get a pray going, you know, stand up for the Christians and or for the, you know, your, whatever party you belong to and whatever, you know, then stand up. If he says, wait on me, you better wait. Whatever, you know, but, you know, talk to the Lord and uh, see what it is he would have for you to do. 
because anything else would just be spinning your wheels. And also, um, number one, you'd be despising your small beginnings. And number two, you're trying to imitate the excess of others. And, and yet you can be encouraged by what others do and people can be encouraged by what you do. Even if you're waiting, you know, even if you're quiet, that's an encouragement. Others are watching and God's watching because uh, I love you guys, but Jesus is watching. You know why? He loves you so much more. I'll see you later. Bye.